to a yard store with mommy, mommy and me. I need to get everything, 200 cards. It might not be a good idea to go to a yard store without knowing exactly what you want. We are so excited to go to a yarn store finally. We do not have a yarn store anywhere near us. So we're super excited to go to You and Me Boutique in Colorado Springs. We're here because my husband has some work. And so we came with him and we're so excited. We've gone to several places that we just don't get to go to on a regular basis. I'm not complaining because living in the mountains is awesome, but it is so fun to be able to go to a yarn store, to be able to go shop some gorgeous yarn. I'm hoping that I can take you guys along. I'm going to see if I can film there. And if I can, I'm just going to take you guys along and show you all the fun yarn plus the things that we got. Let's go! Y'all, I hadn't been to a yarn store like this in a long time, so I was a little overwhelmed. I didn't know where to start exactly, but thankfully the store was set up really nicely. Everything on the walls was categorized by weight, and at the front of the store they had these cute little gifty type items. This was filmed before Christmas, so they had perfect little stocking stuffers. in the super bulky yarn section they had a ton of malabrica rasta i absolutely love rasta and i've only used it one other time needless to say i spent a lot of time in this section it actually took up the majority of their super bulky yarn section make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see what i got to the rest of the super bulky section this bella chenille by universal yarn is so pretty they had so many pretty shades and of course the neons caught my eye also this mad tosh asap single ply is beautiful Knit by bunnies? <laughs> no, it's not knit by bunnies. I wish it was. Yeah. Pretty adorable. That'd be cute. They're cute colors. Yeah, look how pretty those colors are. Mm -hmm. I love the neon. This one like like a perfect summer sweater or something. You like I do color? like that color. It's very cute. Yeah, this one's really pretty. Hand wash cold, dry flat. 491 yards? I'll cut a oh look. my goodness. was to walk all around the store first and film as much as I could and then I would go back and make my selections. The power actually went out though while I was filming and so it kind of threw me off a little bit but it is so hard to shop in a place like this because I literally wanted almost everything.
bombs, a wall of bomb bombs. This. <laughs> That's cute. This is what I want for my pom pom. Very pretty. When you were mine. This yarn was so pretty. I love the texture and the speckles. I would definitely love to make a sweater out of it. Isn't this yarn super unique and fun? Look how cool it is when it's worked up. This alpaca is from a local Colorado farm. I always love to see local farmers supported and I almost purchased a hank of the hand painted yarn, but I ended up not getting it. It was so hard to make my final decisions. We also made an adorable new friend. This is Pearl. She was one of the employees dogs. There was a whole nother room of yarn. It had looms and projects and just all sorts of goodies. I was really tempted to purchase some of this undyed yarn and give dyeing it myself a go, but I decided not to this time. Y'all, seriously, I had so much trouble wanting to buy everything. purchase some things it might not be a good idea to go into a yarn store without knowing exactly what you want and honestly I sort of wondered about that but I just didn't want to commit to one specific project I also wanted to give myself the option of if I wanted to design something if I saw some yarn that I just absolutely loved that it would give me inspiration for a future project that I wanted to design I'm sorry about the traffic noise we are on like a super busy street here in the Airbnb as I mentioned before we just never go to yarn stores because they are nowhere near me I mean probably the closest one is like I would say more than four hours away actually no it's probably two and a half hours but still so I don't have any yarn store besides that tiny tiny selection of yarn at Carl's Pharmacy and I do order yarn online but it's just so much more fun to be able to see it in person to be able to feel it and see how it goes with other colors and so I was very excited but also very overwhelmed at this amazing store. It is such a fun store. If you guys are in Colorado Springs, I highly recommend it. They're so nice there. They have a great selection of yarn. It was very hard to make a final decision on what I purchased. I actually even changed what I wanted at the last minute because I just wasn't sure. I told my husband that this needed to be my Christmas present because y'all, I feel so, so spoiled. These colors are just amazing and I am so excited to share them with you guys. I knew that I wanted to make a pair of socks and so I got some socks 
yarn. I was just so drawn to, I mean, I'm always drawn to neons, but that was really what I went to. Every single time they had so many like highlighter neon colors and I love that color so much. So I got this Lang Yarns Twin Socks yarn and I have never heard of this yarn, but I just thought that it was so pretty. So this yarn is 75% virgin wool and then 25% nylon, but I thought that it was so pretty and I thought that it would make the most fun socks. I was very excited to have seen this. They had it in a few colors, as you'll see in the clips. This is actually the color Sunset. Just has the prettiest shades of neon and I cannot wait to see how it works up. I think this is about 400 yards, but I'm very excited to make some socks with this yarn. So that's the first thing that I purchased. And then the rest of these yarns I kind of got because of the colors and obviously the yarn too. It is all Malabrigo Rasta yarn, which I've only used Rasta one other time and I have always loved Rasta. I hadn't purchased it for the longest time and then I got it to make my Aspen Mountain beady. Y'all, I got this color, which is cucumber. It is the most beautiful like mint color. I absolutely love it. And of course they cake them all up for me and it's 90 yards. And of course, this is 100% merino. It is a single ply yarn, which I think is so pretty. And I know Marquita wanted to see some single ply yarn. So I tried to get some of that in this video. So I am very excited about that. I got this in one, two, three, four colors. I'm definitely gonna try to design something out of this. It's so funny because I am always drawn to this like minty color and then this coral color. This is like my favorite combination of colors, I think. This, and then of course, y'all, I just had to add a neon in because y'all know, or if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I love a neon. This is the neon color, and then I did get a neutral as well. This was such a splurge, honestly, and this is the most amazing Christmas present ever. This coral color is melon and then this is flow i believe it's funny because the lady asked me in the store she's like who is this for thinking it was for my daughter but no it's for me and then this color right here is just a really great neutral so this color it's kind of an ecru shade but the color is fog i really love mixing neons and neutrals i just think that it's a super cool combination so these are all malabrico rasta and i cannot wait to figure out what to make with them. I'm hoping I have enough for a sweater, but we will see. But I'm very excited to start sketching something out to use this yarn for. And I also thought it might be fun to share with you some yarn I got for the sweater for my daughter. I plan on doing a little short video of the sweater for my daughter, but it was so cute. She spent all this time drawing this sweater in a beanie and I was so excited to try to make something that was very close to that for her. And so we went to Hobby Lobby and looked at some yarns. We did find a color at Hobby Lobby that would work with the yarn that I already have at home, the one that she based her drawing on. But I asked her if she wanted to get this yarn for her sweater instead. And so I thought I would pick some up and these colors are really pretty y'all. Now these are premier yarns. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen this yarn at the dollar store, but honestly, I was so excited. I thought it was really fun. So this is premier just yarn worsted. This is the color rose. So this is one that I got. And then I got this color, which is quartz. And then I also got this kind of teal color, which is teal, <laughs> but it's a really pretty shade of teal. And then also this pink color, which is the color Petal. So I thought these were really pretty together. Even if we mixed it with the Hobby Lobby yarn, I thought that that would make a really, really cute sweater. And it looks very similar to the colors that she has in her drawing. That is kind of the haul from my trip to Colorado Springs. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for coming along with me to the yarn shop. I don't know if you guys get as excited as I do about yarn, but honestly, it just makes me so, so happy. And it was such an absolute treat to be able to go to this yarn store. I don't even know how long it will be again until I go to another yarn store. But honestly, I think next time I'm definitely gonna go in with a plan. Like if I have a pattern or a specific design or something, I'm gonna go in with a plan so that I don't just like feel like my head's gonna explode and I have no idea what to purchase. So thank you again so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd love it if you'd give it a thumbs up and subscribe to join me for all the fun crocheting things. See you in the next one. Bye!